Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. So today I'm doing another tag, apart from I cannot tell you for the life of me what it's called right now because when I screenshot the questions from someone's description I didn't include the title. So this is an unknown tag. The original was by Phoebe, I'll leave a link to her video in the description and let's begin. Question one is what's your favourite book? There's a lot of books I always choose my favourite. There's Ashes by Ilsa J. Bick. There's The Bunga Diary. There's Undone. There's Briar Rose. But the book that's like consistently one of my favourite books of all time is The Death House by Sarah Pimbra. Not just because it's this nice hardback, not just because it's like signed, but it's a story that no matter how many times I read, I don't get sick of. And I think. I went away for the weekend once and I only bought this book with me because I thought it would last, but I finished it quickly. I read it three times in one weekend and I was not sick of it at all. So question two is what was my favourite book five years ago? And I believe five years ago I was quite deep into my fantasy obsession. I would have been 11 or 12 and I think my favourite book at the time was probably this series, the Sets of Heat series by Angie Sage all the childhood memories have come flooding back and I can't even tell you what this book is about because I'm too submerged in the memories. But this was more than definitely my favourite book five years ago. It's this entire series up on this side here. Question three is what is my favourite duology, trilogy or the series? And favourite series, series is, my favourite series are always anything Sandra Clare writes, anything Rick Rosen writes, but a duology I've read quite recently. Oh. Trilogy. I love the Andrus and Bloods and the one that comes after that the, my na my mind is completely blank on the name of. But more recently, my favourite trilogy has been Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, and I love I love it. I can't describe how much I love it. I was going to write a review for this, but then Paper Fury gave on like Goodreads in her blog. She wrote a review and that summed up perfectly how I felt about this book. I just love this more than anything in the world. Question 4 is what was the last book I read? And the most recent book was A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and I finished reading this last night. I cried at the end. I cried. Question 5 is what was the last book or poetry you read? And the last poem I read was in creative writing class and the last like more than one poem I read was GCSE the like, not remains, the conflict bit of the anthology. So I haven't read poetry since then. I don't think I've ever read a poetry book. I probably should though. Question six is what book most influenced your life? And because it was books I read when I was young, I would probably say that series by Angie Sage. But I read so much Jacqueline Wilson when I was young, like in primary school. But I think any book she's ever written like before four or five years ago has influenced me in some way because I loved her so much. Question seven is a book that made you ugly cry and that would be this. In my rainy day tag video I wrote, I described a lip quite briefly that this book is like everything to me and all the way through it you know it's not going to go well, you know it's going to have a sad ending but I was trying to prepare myself for it, and I wasn't prepared. What character would you like to be for the day? And straight away my mind goes to someone magical of some sort. Someone who's not just a regular human, like someone who's out of the ordinary. And then my mind went to Magnus Bane. Question 10 is, a book so good I dreamed about it. And it's kind of ironic that this book is a, not Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty retelling, where it says Once Upon a Dream, and the entire book is set in a dream. But also this is an incredible book and you should definitely read it. Question 11 is a book you did not finish, and that would be this one. I read it, I got halfway through, and there was so much world things happening that I got very confused and I gave up. But I will reread this at some point because it deserves it. 
And the final question, question 12, is the book you are most excited to read? And I think I have a lot of books on my TBR pile right now, so let's go take a look. So we're now on my other bookshelf looking at all the books I have to read. And I have to read this one. I started reading this one, but then I wanted to read something else more. I read like the first few pages of this one and then found something I wanted to read more. Got to read this. Read that. Got to read this. Got to read this. Got to read this. Ooh, got to read... No, I read that one. That one's good. Got to read this. Got to read this. Got to read this. I'm excited for all of them. But that were all the questions that we have for today. In the comments below, let me know what book you're most looking forward to reading. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!